Meanwhile, just eight days left until the final votes are cast for the 2024 election. And over the weekend, former President Donald Trump held a rally in New York City, while former First Lady Michelle Obama joined Vice President Kamala Harris on the campaign trail in Michigan. ABC's Christiane Cordero has the latest from Washington. Former President Trump in Georgia today after a rally in New York City last night where the former president called America a nation in decline, again labeling Democrats the enemy from within. And when I say the enemy from within, the other side goes crazy, becomes a sound of, oh, how can he say, no, they've done very bad things to this country. But before he even took the stage at Madison Square Garden, the rally was riddled with racist and sexist remarks. One speaker calling Vice President Harris the devil and the Antichrist, and opening comments from a comedian provoking a lot of responses today. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay, all right, <laughs> okay. We're getting there. The Trump campaign reacting with this joke does not reflect the views of President Trump or the campaign. Harris was visiting a Puerto Rican restaurant as the Trump rally got underway, posting this to social media. Puerto Ricans deserve better. As president, I will always fight for you and your families. Other leaders from both sides of the political aisle are trying to distance themselves from the comedian's comment about Puerto Rico, including Senator Rick Scott of Florida home to more than one million Puerto Ricans, writing, it's not funny and it's not true. Saturday, Harris campaigning with former First Lady Michelle Obama, who gave a searing argument that Harris faces a double standard. Some of us are choosing to ignore Donald Trump's gross incompetence while asking Kamala to dazzle us at every turn. Harris today focuses on manufacturing in Michigan, campaigning with vice presidential candidate Tim Walls for the first time in months. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington. All right, in time running out for voting deadlines in our area in North Carolina. The last day to apply for an absentee ballot is tomorrow, October 29th for Virginia and North Carolina. In-person early voting ends November 2nd. Election Day is November 5th. And on Election Day, polls in Virginia close at 7 p.m. and 7.30 in North Carolina.